HP Service Anywhere is an easy-to-use, self-service cloud platform that will help you improve IT service quality and customer satisfaction. In today's demonstration, we will cover key IT service management areas such as employee self-service, service catalog, request, incident, change, automation, analytics, and more. It is estimated that it costs approximately $13 per ticket that is open. And this is for tickets that do not involve a phone operator. The first part of our demo will focus on employee self-service. Within this section of the demo, we will review the service catalog, requesting support and collaboration. The service catalog provides end users with solution offerings and service offerings. It is easy to navigate from the self-service landing page. Each of the tiles on the page represents a category of services in the catalog. A support offering is a predefined template for requesting help with a common problem. A service offering is a request for an action to be taken by a particular group, for example, the business card service offering routes the request to the appropriate HR resource and requires no interaction from the help desk. The service catalog helps save time by giving users a proactive means to address common issues. By clicking on Request Support through the self-service portal, users can initiate a problem-solving session. Entering a description of a problem, such as Webmail Down, will automatically display related news items to the right. The news items may indicate to the user that there is a related event that is creating the problem, such as a Webmail Service Disruption article. The news item can be viewed, and if the user determines that more help is required, they can supply feedback and continue with their support post. A list of related support topics can be found after the user clicks Post. If these are not the solutions desired, the user can click I need support for a different topic. This auto-populates a ticket with the original request and allows the user to select how this is affecting them. Clicking Submit creates a service request, provides the user with the request number, and offers them an opportunity to request a chat session. If the user requests a chat session, they are notified that an agent will be with them shortly and offers them the opportunity to help friends or search for additional information. The Help Friends option opens up a forum-like session that shows current hot questions, questions that have been asked of the user, and the user's questions. Now that a ticket has been created, let's enter the Service Desk and view it. The simple-to-use Service Desk interface auto-assigns tickets to groups that can then be manually or automatically assigned to agents. The view can be filtered to help manage what needs to be addressed and helps manage multiple tickets at once. When a ticket is open, it is very obvious if the requester would like a chat session indicated by the flashing orange button. Under classification, the operator can see the priority, request type, impact, service, urgency, category, help desk group, owner and request asset model all in one place. The requester's related records can also be viewed and may provide insight into the current request. By selecting Live Support, this enables the operator to resolve the problem through suggested solutions, related incidents, and offerings. An offering can resolve some of the most common problems through automation. Selecting the appropriate offering allows the operator to close the ticket with an automated task, such as a password reset. Related incidents can be viewed, and by relating these incidents to the service requests, they can be managed and closed together. An incident that is dependent on a change can be selected. If a selected incident is dependent on a change, the change must be completed before the incident can be closed. An example would be, the incident is a server down and the change is a firmware upgrade. The change calendar can be viewed and current changes are visible. You can see here that a maintenance window is indicated that would allow specific changes and also a blackout window that indicates a period that changes would not be allowed. 
You can also see related CIs to the change and the impact of related business CIs can also be viewed. Historical analytics can be viewed and used to better plan changes and improve your change process. Normal changes can be analyzed and possibly become standard changes to cut down on the amount of approval and process steps needed to implement a change. Suggestions can help improve the success rate. Analytic data can also be viewed by services or business applications. Action points are also indicated to help improve success rates. As you can see, having a fully filled out action plan historically increased the successful implementation rate for this business service by 50%. Hot topics are a real-time representation of the major topics that are being addressed at this time. They identify problems before a major outage occurs. Users' questions are tracked and reported as well as their searches. This provides great insight into your users' needs. Thank you for attending this presentation of HP Service Anywhere.